Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right. So, uh, I'm going to go into uh, Esau's uh, transition from being in a position of rulership. All right. Uh, coming to an end, man. All right. For his transition from being a uh, ruler of this current age to being brought low. Okay. Which this is all the will of the most high power. All right. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh start with description Psalm 75 and uh six, you know, because uh really going back to Job 9 and uh 24, all right, it says the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, all right, and the wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, all right. Uh, starting with the uh, what's known as the so-called elites, all right, your Rothschilds, Rockefellers, all right, and etc. All right, those are the ones that are are pretty much in control of the earth right now. Okay, and during their their reign over the earth, what's the result? All right, confusion. All right, death. All right. You see, the earth uh, is defiled. All right. The quality of life is 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 is, is at an all time low. All right. You know, as a I believe the Apostle Gabar say, says, you know, we're we're not living, we're just existing. All right. It's the way this this place is set up, man, under the hands of the wicked. All right. You know, from from us down to 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 the marine life. The, the you know the uh, ecosystem and the animals the earth itself is in a state of mourning man okay due to it being uh, ran under the hand of the wicked okay but the most high is going to make a change man all right so uh this is psalm 75 and uh six for promotion coming neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Okay? So, right. You know, hey, this devil was placed in rulership. All right? Really because uh, we went against Yahweh, our power. All right? We broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? So, hey, this was, you know had to take place so that we can have a proper uh full understanding all right of this is this is the results when you go against the uh, heavenly father all right you know you see esau is not no great uh just some great uh being that he's just you know now nah, the most high set him up all right you see just as he has done with uh, Pharaoh, all right? You know, I may pull that, uh, you know, but he, you know, yeah, Esau's being, you know, doing what he's programmed to do, so to speak, all right? The most I put him in that position, all right? But for a certain period of time, okay? You know, because look, look at the state of the earth, man. The, uh, the Lord is not going to allow this devil to continue to rule, man. If, you know, if he does, if he were to, uh, it would be no flesh left to be saved, man. All right. You know. But um, Psalm 75 and uh, 7, the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. All right. So just as Esau was set up to rule, he's going to be brought down. Okay. And uh, Israel, Yasha all right. You see, we're gonna be the next to uh to rule the earth under a righteous uh rulership, man. And everything's gonna be restored in its proper order. Okay. 
this is uh verse eight it says for in the hand of the lord there is a cup and the wine is red it is full of mixture and he poured out of the same but the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them okay so right that cup is that judgment all right you know yeah like i always like to go to uh in Jeremiah, where it says, uh, for they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have a surely drunken. Okay? That's speaking about us, Israel, all right? You see, we uh, went against the uh, Heavenly Father, okay? Broke his law, statutes, and commandments. So, therefore, we had to drink of a cup of those curses, all right? Deuteronomy 28, you see? Us being led away into captivity, all right? Being subject unto the... Uh, to Esau, all right, these other heathen nations over us, all right, you know, so, right, we had drunk of the cup, okay, but it says, uh, shall he altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, okay, and that's, you know, going into Esau, man, is he not going to drink of the cup? Yes, he is going to drink of the cup. They said, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. For one, putting his hands on the apple of the Most High's eye. All right. And spreading wickedness throughout the uh, earth, man. All right. Uh, let me see. Right, I'll get verse 9. It says, Psalm 75 and 9, but I will declare forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. All right. See that? So, right. Once this man is brought down, that, that's it. All right. This is this is their last that last rule. All right. OK. Hey, right, that's why in Lamentations, hey, it says rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. All right. Hey, this is your kingdom. Go ahead and, and, and enjoy it while you have it. All right. You see, and and for the for those uh, regular six six pack Joe Dirt Edomites, you know what I'm saying. Hey, if y'all doing bad right now, then hey, that's you just a two time loser, man. All right. You know. And hell, they show you too. The, the so-called elites, they don't even give a damn about their own people, man. You know, Esau don't give a damn, man. <laughs> you know, if they, you know, uh, doing bad or not, you know, whatever the cost, they're going to try to push their, their agenda, man. All right. But, uh, right. Uh, this is a... Uh, so like yeah. Sirach 10 and 4, it says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. All right? So right, man. Okay? Once again, Esau, his way of doing things leads to death, man, because he is anti Yahweh Shah. All right? He is anti Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, man. All right? You know, but the Most High is gonna set one over that is profitable. All right, Yahweh Shah, okay. And ultimately, the kingdom of uh, heaven is gonna be uh, established on the earth, man. All right. Let's get a. Uh This is Isaiah 24, uh, verse 5. It says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right? So, right, the earth is defiled, man, under the hands of the wicked. Okay? Because this devil, he doesn't uh, uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right. That's why it says uh 
they transgressed the laws, all right? You see? In, uh, what's that, in Psalms 50? All right? Let me uh, pull that real quick. You know, this devil doesn't honor the land, Sabbath. All right? You see, he, uh, he uh, promotes same gender uh, uh, marriage. Okay? You know, sprays chemtrails, creates uh, clone food, GMOs. All right? So this is uh, Psalms 50. 16 but unto the wicked the most I said what has thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth seeing thou hatest instruction and casted my words behind thee all right so right man this devil hates instruction he, he hates uh doing things that the most I you know the natural way of doing things He's, he's against it, man. All right. You see, but out of the uh, out of their mouths, they'll be quick to say that this is a God fearing nation. All right. You know, you had Ronald Reagan say the uh, the Bible should be the law of the land. Okay, but they cast the words of the Most High behind them, man. All right. You see, and put themselves in the position as if they're the Most High, man. All right. You know, but hey, man, like the scripture says, his ways, Esau, all right, his ways are always grievous, man. Okay, that's why the people are all are, are, are mourning, man. When the wicked bear rule, the what? The people mourn. Okay. You see? <laughs> hey, man, and that's why we're calling on the Lord, man, praying, asking the Lord to uh, bring forth the end of this place, man. You know? Cause, hey man, we wanna we wanna live, man. We wanna truly have peace. All right, we wanna eat real food, breathe clean, fresh air, man. All right. You see? Cause if you, hey man, if you think this is it on this side, then hey man, you deserve uh, destruction. All right, and I'm really speaking more so towards uh, two thirds out here, man. All right. Because, you know, you still have our people that's satisfied with uh, being here in Babylon, man. You know? And not hastening for the coming of Yahweh Shah. All right? Not seeking for for uh, for the kingdom. Okay? But uh, not to get off track. I'll end with... Uh, with Ezra 6. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 6, uh, verse 9. All right. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. All right. So, right, Esau is the end of the world. Okay. So, the end of this current age. All right. It's going to entail Esau's downfall, man. Okay. And the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah being established. All right. With uh, Israel, once again, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. Being in, uh, you know, in, in rulership, man. All right. And, uh, you know. And all the other nations is going to bow down unto us and, 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 and you know, keep these these laws, man. We're going to enforce that, man. All right. You know. And yes, they're going into captivity. Esau's going into captivity. All right. You see, for a, Esau in particular, for a period of a thousand years. And once his uh, time is up, hey, he's going to be completely done away with, man. Okay. You know. And this is this is what we're uh, looking for, man. All right. And we in that time, we in that transition uh period, man. All right. You see? 
So uh, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end there. Once again, I'm gonna give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully lit. Shalom.